and we're using paper plates. Why? Because we ain't doing no dishes on the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm gonna have me some fun. <coughs> What's up, everybody? Guess where we at? We back at Husky FA's laboratory. That's right. The fat fitness model, Husky FA, Jose Cortez, Emerald Lajashi is back in the laboratory. And we're cooking up something special today. My homegirl kind of put me on to the recipe because she put a little twist to it. So I was like, let me put a little twist, twist to it. So look, today in the laboratory, we got none other than a chicken pot pie. Now me, you know I like Popeyes. I like the white sauce. I understand what it is. But I'm putting a remix to it too. I'm adding broccoli for one, and I'm shortcutting everything. I always tell you quick and simple. Well, here's quick and simple. So do not complicate this. Sit down, <laughs> be entertained, cause this Popeye is calling my name. Mm. Oh. I bet you thought you was gonna watch this video without seeing this little tidbit I got for you. Well, here goes. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and what else? Notification bell. That's right, you need to hit it. I mean, you need to hit it. I mean, you need to hit it. I ain't got time. Simple algorithm, I'm trying to beat it. So, you're a friend, right? Well, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that what? <laughs> Notification bell. Period. No, Period, poop. Period, poop. All right, so let's get it started. We're gonna start with some vegetable stock. I'm using about, I say two cups two and one third cups in total, but I actually wanted, the recipe calls for chicken stock, but I wanted to be a little bit healthier. So, hey, we're gonna take the vegetable stock. Now, note that this chicken will cook in this vegetable stock as well as um, just a couple a couple things of uh, vegetable oil. So, with that being said, um, this chicken, you gotta kinda season it up and doctor it up. So, Right now, if you look at the table, I got a couple seasonings. I'm going in right now with the minced garlic and water. And uh, next to that, I have some Weber kicking. It's kicking chicken seasoning. Um, I definitely wanted to get some good flavor on it. And I have some thyme. So, pretty simple seasonings. Um, now I'm going, for this recipe, I'm actually using about three chicken breasts. Um, to be honest, once you shred this after about three hours, so I let this uh, cook on high for about three hours. But after you shred this, it's most definitely gonna give you um, give you a lot of chicken. So you could probably go from I say try two chicken breasts because I made one and it was still it was still pretty good. So I'm going in with the Weber. At first I was trying to be all pretty, but. I need that kick of chicken flavor. Be generous, cause like I said, it's so much like water content from the vegetable stock that it's not like you're gonna have over salted uh, chicken or anything. And yeah, I'm being, whoa, I am super generous, huh? Wow. Yeah, look at that, that's what it is. Kicking chicken, I think it costs like two bucks or so. I'm gonna go in with some thyme. You kinda wanna keep this a, fresh recipe now i told you i did remix this uh my homegirl did first with the red lobsters cheddar bay biscuits i was like oh my god but i did remix this that i'm adding in the oil right now but i did remix this by um you know adding in the broccoli and um also i just used a gravy mix instead of using you know they wanted you to make the sauce from like flour flour and milk which is Typically, technically, not typically, but technically the same thing. So, 
yeah, I tried to make this as quick as simple. So, this is going to set for, I told you, about three hours. I'm going to go ahead and set this crock pot. And Now, it's been three hours. So, guess what? It is time to shred this chicken. And I just got like two knives just doing it. Uh, it's probably better with a fork, but you want the chicken to kind of look like that. You see? It's all juicy and stuff. Like I said, the water content it is in there. So we actually gonna use that water content a little bit later. But now we're gonna go ahead and add in those peas and carrots for some weird, I just went with frozen. Like I said, I wanna make this recipe harmless as possible. And once we get those peas and carrots, we also got some onions that we're gonna put in. Hey, this was like a buck and I'm making it quick and simple, yo. So put your onions in. I added just a tad bit more um, vegetable stock just because I didn't want all that moisture to, to be gone. So that's how it looks about 30 minutes. Now I'm going in. I told you I'm going to go in with the pepper gravy. Uh, it was a brand I saw, Southern, Southern something, but it was pepper gravy mix. And as you see, we mix it and you start seeing the white coloration. And you let that go for about i say about 20 to 30 minutes but as that's going i'm gonna go ahead and make these cheddar bay biscuits very simple guys it's literally mix water and cheddar cheese i want extra charred cheddar if you just want to know and man make some bomb biscuits and they come with a pack to make the little garlic stuff but of course i soup mine up because i am none other than husky hefe the fat fitness model but i am Emerald Joshi. So that's my extra charred cheddar cheese. Get a good mix. It's going to start locking up. Like, it's, it's going to really start getting stiff. So, the 20 minutes should be coming to an end. So, oh, I almost forgot the broccoli. I put it in the air fryer to get like a little roast flavor. Yes, if you want some good broccoli, throw it in the air fryer. And, man, it gets a good roast on those. Woo, I'm telling you, it'll hurt you. So I went in with a crust, a regular pie crust at the bottom. Now, I would recommend that you bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes. That way it's more crispy. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it still turned out right. I didn't bake this one, but it still turned out right. So we ain't tripping on nothing. We eating on something. <laughs> and if you want, you can come to the kitchen and get you a plate. But notice, you got to clean up after yourself. That's just how it goes down in Husky Hefe's laboratory in the kitchen with none other than your boy. <laughs> so, yeah, we get that all in there mixed up, evened out, and then we're just going to put those biscuits on the top. Now, the biscuits call for, I think, I think like a 15 to 18 minute cook time. Yeah, once the biscuit's done, everything else is pretty done because you've already cooked. Um, I was gonna say you already cooked pretty much the insides of the chicken pot pie so this is crazy and like i said i made my butter mix they come with a packet and the cheddar bay biscuit but i added like uh, a little more oregano parsley but that's it hey y'all guess what all we gotta do now is get this cut up into a little bit section give me a taste test going and that's it <laughs> and we're using paper plates why because we ain't doing no dishes on the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the freaking weekend. Baby, I'm gonna have these bum. <coughs> oh. Oh. Smell. Yes, sir. That's a pot pie. Get some biscuit. Peas, carrots. One blow. Two blow. Three blow. If I'm lucky. I may get a huge blow. <laughs> That's a watch. <laughs> All right. That's it. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm about to go smack a root. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> Thanks.